Hi, and welcome to the Deployment Guide, which is a series of short videos for people just starting out in the world of Intune, Config Manager, and all things OSD. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I deploy a start menu to a group of users in Microsoft Intune. There are a couple of different ways of doing this. You can configure your start menu on a test machine, and then export it to an XML file, and then set up a configuration profile, and under device restrictions and start, point it to the XML file. I tend to do it a different way using a JSON file and a custom configuration profile which I'm going to show you in this demo. So the first thing we're going to do on the demo machine is we're going to browse to the root of the C drive. We're going to create a new folder. We're going to call this Layouts. And then we're going to browse the start menu. We're going to select a few apps and pin them to the start. We'll select Microsoft 365. Microsoft Teams, and then we'll just move these around a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to run Terminal or PowerShell as admin, and then paste in this command, which I'll put in the uh, description below. And when we browse to the layouts folder that we previously created, we've got a JSON file. So if you open that with Notepad, Basically, Control A, select all this, and then copy. So, back in the Intune Admin Center, we're going to go to Devices, Windows, Configuration Profiles. We're going to create a profile. The platform is going to be Windows 10 and later. The profile type is going to be Templates. And the template name is going to be Custom. Select Create. And I'll give it a meaningful name, such as Windows hyphen student start menu select next next we're going to add a row give it a name so just configure start pins next the OMA URI which I will paste in the description below it's going to be vendor MSFT policy config Start, configure start pins. The data type is going to be string, and what we're going to do is we're going to paste in the details from the JSON that we created previously. Select save, select next. Now we're going to assign this to a group of users, in this case, users student. Select, select next, next again, and then create. So, back on the test machine, I'm going to sign in as a member of that group, which is n.teller. Enter the password. If I now click on the start menu, you can see that the configuration has worked, and they now have the custom start menu. This has been the Deployment Guy. Thanks for watching, and if you found the contents of this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below.